Hey, this is Tanisha, and we are working on abstract num challenge number 26 of 100. And this time, we are still working on an abstract for a company that hired me to do um, some abstract paintings based on different themes that they've given me. So I decided to do them during my abstract challenge. So just for those of you who are new to this challenge, I'll explain a little bit about it. So usually I typically give myself about 15 minutes to complete the challenge. The goal is not to complete the painting, but to actually try different techniques and learn something new from what I'm doing. And so um, the goal is I, I'm challenging myself on something and give my 15 minutes to do it. And that's it. And from there, I can utilize anything I learn in any future abstract paintings. So again, this is for a company. So this is a challenge for me because they're giving me a theme and I'm supposed to create an abstract painting that goes with that theme. So to me, this is still a challenge. Now I did spend a little bit more than 15 minutes on these, but that's just because I want to make sure I gave them something that I felt was decent. So for this one, there the thing they gave me was charcuterie board. So I went and looked up charcuterie boards because honestly I never really had one. And I tried to use some of the colors that were similar to that theme. So I really enjoyed this painting and it came out really well. I find that I, the paintings that I feel I like the most are the ones that I just let myself be free and let myself go. Whereas sometimes when I start to do a lot of thinking, it I tend to I feel like I mess things up. So I really love doing these challenges because it's helping me to learn more about myself, learn what works, what doesn't work. And so I'm always hoping and encouraging others to do the same. I think we should do this. I think this should be a part of our our practice all the time. Like we should always be experimenting, and because there's just so much you can learn. And you may find a technique that you love and you want to use in your abstract paintings going forward. So it's really a good practice to have. So for this challenge, I did plan and test my colors out in the beginning before I started just because I wanted to have those charcuterie board type colors. Um, but again, once I started laying the paint down on the paper, I just let myself do whatever came to mind and it worked out really well. So I have recently gotten some new tools or mark making tools. The pen I just had was an artist pit pen, which I really, really love. And I hope to get more of those in my practice. So those are so much fun. I hope you, um, if you haven't tried it, you might want to try it. But overall, um, with this painting, I use a lot of glazing, um, a lot of, you see the, the black mark making in the background which is something I always start with and it really looks like pretty much went towards like a fall type of color but if you look at some charcuterie boards you'll see that some of these colors are in there so I just you know once you see it at the end so I hope you stick around to the end I'll give you a example of how this piece looked and I'll put a fake company's name on it because I, I'm not going to show the real client's name. But just to give you an idea of how it turned out. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and what you think about it. And what did you think about the colors? I'd love to hear. Did you Do you think this kind of went with the charcuterie board thing? Or do you think I should have used something different? In any case, we all have an opinion. We all have thoughts on how things should go. Um, I still am I'm very happy with how I ended up here with this piece and I just look forward to doing more of these challenges. I have so many um, challenges that I want to do in the future of this channel so I'll keep definitely going with the challenges and eventually I will put out some different videos in between but for now I'm just having fun with these challenges and 
I definitely plan to put some different content on this channel. So um, if there's anything you would like to see on this channel, definitely let me know in the comments. And I'd be happy to see what I can do. But in the future, I hope to show maybe more of my full my art making, abstract making challenge, or not, sorry, abstract making process. <laughs> and just show you how I go about it. But um, until then, I really hope you all are enjoying the challenges. And if you ever have any questions or anything I can share with you or that I can help you with, definitely let me know. But once the tape comes off here pretty soon, you'll get to see the finished piece, which um, I really end up liking this one a lot, as I said already a million times. But um, in any case, I just say stay here and in a very short time you will see the final look.